Coast Saturday night, with some parts of the state expected to see up to 15 inches of rain. And boy, as a place that knows a lot about flooding, uh, not what you want to hear. No, unfortunately, a lot of people being stuck in their cars this morning in Miami. Yeah. We're getting a lot of reports, as you saw there, all of that rain that's flooding. So it's just proof that it doesn't have to be called a tropical storm yeah. to create a lot of issues. And, and we do know we that. We know about here. that here. Yes. Yeah. So they are dealing with that. It is still, by the way, a potential tropical cyclone, potential tropical cyclone number one. So it's not a tropical storm because it doesn't have a defined center of circulation. But still, the winds are at 40 miles an hour. That is tropical storm strength. So they have issued some tropical storm warnings for parts of Florida. But as of right now, again, only a potential tropical cyclone that we're keeping a very close eye on because it's going to cross over Florida, head out into the Atlantic, and then likely strengthen into a tropical storm once it's out here. But the good news is along the East Coast, besides Florida, not a threat to them. It will bring some rough seeds, though. However, for us, as we watch this storm, we're waiting for it to become a tropical storm. But the wind shear is so strong out there. Those upper level winds is kind of shearing it apart and it's elongating it. So it doesn't have that defined center of circulation and therefore it's not a tropical storm. But still, tropical storm warnings in effect for the southern half of Florida. Plus, we have these flash flood warnings here in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. So a lot of flooding ongoing there. You look at all of the rain, though. They got all that heavy rain that moved on through with that band. Some more heavy rain on the west coast of Florida, too. So with all of this rain dumping over the southern half of Florida, it is still causing issues there when it comes to flooding. Some gusty wind, and of course, they have the risk for water spouts and tornadoes with this system. Meanwhile, for us, we are good to go today. It's going to be hot, but mostly dry. The only rain that we see, that's off the coast here. Some of that developed a bit earlier near the Buras area, but that all moved out into the Gulf. Now temperatures are quickly warming on up. We are still in the 80s in Buras, the 70s for most everyone. It looks like now even the North Shore moved out of the 60s. You are now into the 70s. A little bit of a breeze at the lakefront at 14 miles an hour. Fairly calm elsewhere, 8 miles an hour in Buras and Homa 7 at the airport. So today, temperatures are going to jump into the low 90s for most of us. It will be sunny, hot, and humid with only a 10% chance for rain. So an isolated shower or thunderstorm will pop up, but most of us will stay dry. The breeze 5 to 10 miles an hour and the UV index will be extreme at 11. So if you are out and about today, do be aware there's not going to be a lot of cloud cover, not a lot of rain to cool you down just a lot of sunshine and that sunshine is intense. The UV index is extreme, so you'll have to protect your skin and your eyes. Then overnight tonight, mostly clear, fairly muggy night, mild to warm temperatures, 66 to 76 degrees, depending on where you are, a little bit cooler on the North Shore. And then tomorrow, same story, but we might tack on a degree or two to our afternoon high temperatures. So tomorrow, 91 to 95 degrees for our highs, still hot, still humid, Rain chance 20%. So an isolated shower storm yet again could pop up maybe a couple more than today. Overall, this forecast is going to repeat itself. It's hot, it's humid, and we have a good bit of sunshine. Rain chances stay fairly low. 10 to 20% chance for rain through Thursday. I'm going with a 30% on Friday. Overall, though, temperatures continue to warm up. Highs could reach the middle 90s by Tuesday and beyond. All right, Lee, thank you. The time is 720, and if you missed our 30-minute hurricane special, Get Ready Now, you can catch an encore presentation this weekend. It will re-air re tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. before our newscast at 6, and that special is also streaming online right now at WDSU.com.